Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Basehead and how to apply metadata using the software. The little caveat to this is that you have to have the Ultra Edition of Basehead, but alternatively, you can also download the demo, which allows you to experiment with all of the features free of any restrictions, which is great. So as you can see right here, I'm running the demo mode from version 5. This is a beta for now, so it expires on the 16th of July. But it works, and that's all I need. So let's get into it. What I'm going to do is come here to database and create a new database. Let's call it my library. And now, coming here to results, I can just come to finder and select the sounds drag and drop them, hit import, and there they are. So right here you have your file name, description, designer, and so on. And if you right click here, you can select among all of these options. So let's say that I want to remove project name, and it's gone, as simple as that. Now let's say that I want to rename the description. I can either right click it and choose right here, rename description, or I can just press R. Let's say, just for fun, hello, inject, and there you go. And right here on this window, you can see all of the available fields, and you can see that the description was altered just as we did it right there. Now, as a default, Basehead is going to select for you the dynamic display. Let's go with user definable display. So now I can select any of the fields that I want, and to do so, I'm just going to click here, and let's say that I want to deselect all of these options. I'm just going to hit close. And now I have this simplified view right here. And again, if I try to type something in and I say, hello world, you can see that it gets modified here as well. And yes, I can do it to multiple files. So if I select all of them and I type in the description, hi, you can see that everything gets altered at the same time. Now, right here under rename, you have target naming and offline renaming. This is where you can start doing batch renaming, right? So coming here to offline renaming, let's say that I want to rename the description again. And when I hover my mouse under rename, you'll see that these spaces right here get highlighted. So let's say that I want to replace hi with small sounds. Let's go with this for now. So I just come here, rename. Oh, I have to select my sounds first. So all of them come here to rename. This cannot be undone in the sense that you cannot just hit Command Z and undo it. So say yes. And now all of them get renamed as small sounds. But there's a little issue here. I typed in small sounds with this space but it was written without that space. That was because I actually had this checkbox selected. So I'm just gonna uncheck it and say small sounds all together with sound effects. Let's go with sound effects now. With that space, hit rename, and there you go. You can also copy information from another field and paste it somewhere else in your metadata. So whenever I hover my mouse here, you'll see that any information that I decide to copy is going to be pasted in whatever option that I have right here. So if I want to copy the designer and rename the description, I can say copy, say yes, and there you have it. And right here under functions, I can clear the value for selected field. And when I hover my mouse here again, that function will be applicable only to the description. So I'm just going to hit apply. And they're gone. And let's say that I decided to transfer the file name to the description. What I can do is just come here to functions and select replace description with file name. So I'll come here and hit apply. And there we have it. Let me just extend this. And let's say that I want to change the category as well to replace sounds base head tutorial with household. Rename, 
Say yes. And there you have it. Now, the difference between the Ultra Edition and the Standard Edition is the following. I'm just going to open BaseHead 4, which is the one that I have. So you can see that I'm running BaseHead 4 Standard right here. So I'm just going to create a new database again. Call it my library 2 come here to results and import those files and you can see that it maintains the metadata that I applied with basehead 5 even though I'm running the demo mode that is really cool I should say but here I don't have those options right here see I can't double click the designer to change it I can't double click the description and I don't have the option to see my user-definable display, and I also don't have access to offline renaming. The only thing that I can do here is right-click a sound and rename the description to say, hello again, inject, and that's all that I can do here. And when we come here back to base at 5, and I delete this frog vocal, and I re-import it, you'll see that the description was altered as well, but only the description. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video on metadata. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. And as always, I wish you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya!